So in this video I'll be showing you how to convert from Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. So on this computer I've got a copy of Windows 8.1 Pro and if we head over to the properties page we can see that we're running 8.1 Pro and currently Windows is activated and also I've signed up for the free upgrade reservation. So if you're watching this video after July the 29th you probably want to go ahead and run the upgrade from the Windows logo that appears in the right hand corner. But if you want to get your hands on Windows 10 beforehand, you can follow this method. So currently there aren't any licensing issues with me doing this because I'm going from Windows 8.1 Pro to Windows 10 Pro. So to start the upgrade, we need to make sure that we have a copy of the ISO file that can be downloaded from the internet. This is a copy of the Windows 10 Pro 64-bit ISO file and it's build 10240 which is the RTM build. If you haven't got a copy of that just head over to the previous video on my channel where I showed you how to download it. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to extract the files out of this ISO file. So since Windows 8 has its own image mounter we're going to double click on this file and let it mount the image and we're going to select all the files and copy them to drive C. Create a folder called for example install it doesn't matter what you call it just create a folder there and let Windows 8.1 copy all of the Windows 10 contents to this folder. So before we run that setup file I'm going to just show you what I've set up in this computer here. If we head over to the documents folder I've just created a test document in WordPad and also put a few pictures in the My Pictures folder just to show that they will be kept when we upgrade. Please make sure that you make a backup of your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 computer just in case this upgrade fails. So if we head over to our Drive C where we created the installer and into the install folder and let's go ahead and run the setup file and agree to the user account control and the setup file will start loading. You can choose to go ahead and do updates. For now we're going to turn this off because we want to install Windows slightly quicker and also there's no updates available anyway since it only came out the other day. We're going to go ahead and click on next. It will say that we're getting things ready and also it will then show the license terms. At this point I'm going to go ahead and click accept and it's going to make sure that our Windows computer is up for the job of running Windows 10. So it's going through making sure we have enough space on the hard disk and as you can see we've got a summary page before it upgrades our computer. So as you can see it says you've chosen to install Windows 10 Pro and also keep Windows settings, personal files and apps. And we're going to go ahead and press install. Now at this point you'll get a full screen application open and it's going to start copying files from that install folder into your Windows directory and it's also going to move your current Windows installation to a Windows.old folder within local disk C. So this part of the installation will take around about 20 minutes depending on the speed of your computer. If you're using an SSD you'll notice that it won't take anywhere near this long. So at this point it's going to upgrade Windows and as you can see it's copying files from our install folder to our Windows installation. So once the installation has complete you'll get the hi there welcome back message and as you can see it's loaded up my profile because I was signed in beforehand and we're going to go ahead and click on next. Use express settings. Now as you can see because we've upgraded it's going to show us what's different. So as you can see we've got Microsoft Edge in this build. We can rent movies from the Movies and TV app and also there's a new photos and music app. So we're going to go ahead and click next. So we're going to be sent to the lock screen where we're going to unlock and log in.
So now it's sent us straight to the desktop and if we head over and just reset our display resolution. So now we've reset our display resolution we can see that we also have the ImageBurn app that we had installed previously on our Windows 8.1 machine. This means that your apps have been kept, even the desktop apps. So you can go ahead and for example run that. And as you can see that runs just as before. Also the Windows desktop has been kept. And also if we head over to our documents folder, we can see our test document that we created along with the folder and also the pictures that we have along with camera roll and saved pictures which is an additional feature in Windows 10. And the last thing if we go to the system properties we can also see that Windows is still activated. It still has the name of Win8 because that was the name of the computer before we upgraded. Thanks for watching, please like, rate, comment and subscribe and if you have any problems with the upgrade head over to benstechtips.com and create a post in the Windows 10 forum.